What's going on everyone? Some exciting Pokemon Go news. You guys remember the news about Pokemon Go Snapshot, right? The feature that's going to be included in an update to be able to take photos of your Pokemon after you've caught them. Well, that is now out for Android users, so make sure you're level 5 and up before you try to go use Go Snapshot. Snap off the lens cap on your inner photographer. Now, I am a photographer. Introducing Go Snapshot, an easy way to take a photo of any Pokemon you have in your Pokemon storage. Learn more below. So features including uh, take an AR photo of any Pokemon you have in your Pokemon storage, find an ideal photo location, tap to throw a Pokeball to the spot where you want your Pokemon to be. Once your Pokemon is in position, move it around to get the best angle. Brush across the Pokemon to attract its attention to, uh, for the perfect shot. Take as many photos as you'd like. You can save them or share them to social media. Next piece of news was announced two days ago. Discover more with limited research featuring Clamperl. It's time to put your research skills to the test. Professor Willow is looking to conduct limited research on the water type Pokemon Clamperl. Spin the photo disc at nearby Pokestops to obtain field research tasks that lead to encounters with this tough shelled bivalve Pokemon. While you're completing research, keep an eye out for other water type Pokemon such as Krabby and Whalemark, February 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific time. So that's going to be 2 to 5 for us here on the East Coast where I am in New York. Receive two time catch stardust for water type Pokemon during the three hour window. Water type Pokemon will appear more frequently in the wild during the event. Limited research tasks will be available when you spend photo discs at Pokestops. Completing the limited research tasks will award you encounters with Clamperl. Important thing to know at the bottom here, Clamperl might clam up during limited research, so exploring is key. As long as you've collected the limited research during the event window, you can complete it at any time. Don't forget, you'll need to venture onward to many Pokestops in order to get new field research tasks and encounter as many clan pearls as possible. New team medallion allows trainers to switch teams. We're happy to share a team change with you. Later this month, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific time, Pacific Standard Time on February 26th, team change will allow trainers to change teams once per year. Now it's gonna be one time a year, one every 365 days that you can do this. Keep that in mind. Interested trainers will be able to purchase a team medallion for 1,000 Poké Coins from the shop, which is reasonable. You know, you can buy a, a coin pack or something and, and get that if you really want to. And when you decide to activate it, you'll be guided through the team selection screens to choose your new team. Any of your Pokémon that are in gyms, when you change teams, will be returned with no Poké Coins earned once it's defeated. And you can't, you also can't battle your own Pokémon. Ha, <laughs> nice try. So if you return to a gym, one of your Pokemon is defending, your Pokemon will be returned to you with no Poke Coins earned. You'll be able to find more information on the Help Center page within the game. I would be interested in hearing if you're interested in changing teams. What team do you think you'd be on? Do you think you want to be on Valor like me? you want to be on Instinct? Or do you want to be on Mystic? Latias is returning to raids and it is going to be shiny. Shout out to Leek Duck by the way, Leek Duck's awesome. Latias returns for a special raid weekend. If you're lucky, you might encounter its shiny variant. Latias can be defeated with as little as three trainers. Otherwise, bring more to the battle. And we have the general counters listed below for we have Palkia with Dragon Tail, Draco Meteor, Rayquaza with the same movesets, and pretty much the same moveset for Salamence and Dragonite Latios also coming later on. So this is going to be exciting. It's going to uh, start tomorrow, Friday at 4 p.m. that's going to switch over my time and that will last until Monday at 4 p.m. as well so for the, the whole weekend we'll have it there we're going to be filming that experience as well so now let's go look for some raids I have to go pick up my wife first but we're going to see if we can try to get some raids after we get her let's do this thing teeny raid along the way home or all along the way to get my wife and we're just gonna do really really quick since it's just a one star and just knock it out and be back at it so we'll see what happens when we catch it I actually never raided at this gym before so just gonna see what the result is Ooh. Oh, that's fine. So now I'm gonna try and catch it and see how good it is. Strong up. Uh, well, gonna show you what it is at this point. My reaction to HP, attack, defense, 
stats indicate. Oh, it is not too great. Oh well, back on the road. the combi thank goodness that was kind of annoying to miss to have missed out on that one earlier so well we're going to pick it up i should say I have not completed the task yet I also couldn't run making my day just a little salty <laughs> let's see oh nope let's try that again Wi-Fi on, but okay. Nothing to that will keep me away from trying to get this. Come on, candy, 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 candy. Yes, finally got it. All right, Let's see if it's any good. Decent defense balloon. Maybe we can flip this later. Check that. Not too, not shiny. All right, onward home. So I'm back home now, and uh, we're gonna take a quick look at what we caught today on the way home. We didn't get to do any raids, unfortunately, so sorry to disappoint you guys with that. But we can at least take a look at the loot that we picked up today. Then we'll just go through it one by one up till probably here from that weasel. Trade Porygon and Voltorb down, that was more yesterday. I think that Weasel was today, but we're going to focus on more uh, things up this way. So, uh, we I was able to hatch in the, my second happening today, which is really cool. Got this Distance Magby. It's distance Alolan Diglett. The Dratini from the Dratini raid we did earlier today. This Murkrow I picked up, that gave me a little bit of a problem. Found a Bronzer. Drifloon, like the buzz, Tangela, and we've picked up some Wobbuffet. Got this one here, that one, that one, and also that one. And finally, the Combi. My wife was able to pick up pick up two of them. I only found the one since I don't know how. Maybe it was at the end of its spawn or something. I don't know why I didn't get to see that on the way home. But I picked up this one. And Growlithe. And that is where we're going to end it here. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching this vlog. I really do appreciate it. If you like this format of me leaving work, pick up my wife, just driving around, just see what we end up catching and doing raids and that kind of thing. If you like that kind of format, you let me know down below. Smash the like button to let me know that you like it. And if you don't like it, just uh, let me know what it is you think I should change, what I should add or take away or whatever it is. I'm open to any suggestions that anyone may have. So that's going to be it. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to get out to you guys. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.